For the second time in a week, a woman fell to her death from a Manhattan rooftop. Authorities say Tyler Thorpe tried to cross from one roof to another when she fell from a fire escape in Kipps Bay Friday morning. Eyewitness News reporter Diana Rocco spoke to Tyler's grieving mother. Family members here are still in shock and disbelief over Tyler's sudden and tragic death. But tonight her mother is remembering her only daughter as a light who loved life and her family. She was the apple of my eye. Not 48 hours after her death, Tyler Thorpe's family, her mom and grandmother are all gathered in their Bronx apartment, remembering her life with tears and laughter as Leslie Stewart talks about her only daughter. She would always say, you got to live your life. That's right. That's right. That's just what she used to say, too. An aspiring makeup artist, a beautiful 26-year-old full of dreams with her whole life ahead of her. So what I yeah. want you to know about her is that she she was a very loving young lady. She was very proud. She cared about her family. She cared about her friends. She was the type of person that was always there to give you a compliment. Tyler went to see friends Thursday night in the city. Just after midnight, she was climbing to the roof with a childhood friend at 237 East 28th Street, where the friend lived. When she slipped off a fire escape in the back of the building and fell five stories to her death. Citizen app video shows police responding. Tyler was pronounced dead at the scene. It hurt so bad. <laughs> you go it hurts though. down in here where, you know, you just... It's just like I feel like somebody has something gripping right here and they won't let it go. That's how deep it is. Tyler grew up on Long Island and had moved to the Bronx with her grandmother and mother. Her family says she loved fashion and was always making new friends. She was that person that would have been your friend. Police are not looking into Tyler's death as suspicious. In the Bronx, I'm Diana Rocco, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.